Hundreds of people in the valley say they are hearing voices in their heads. And those voices are being transmitted by microwave or other methods. Well, several viewers asked us to investigate what they call electronic harassment. KMIR 6's Angela Monroe joins us now with what she's discovered. Angela. Electronic harassment, synthetic telepathy, voice to school technology. Chances are you haven't heard of these terms, but after searching the internet, I found dozens of websites dedicated to the phenomenon and several Valley residents who say they're victims. How much more can you invade me than to go into my brain? It sounds like somebody else is reading the book, only it's thoughts. We're not having a group hallucination. This is actually something that's happening. These men all live in the area, didn't know each other before the voices started, and say someone is playing mind games with them. Mostly it's a lot of derogatory uh, comments about whatever you're thinking about. Only time I ever had a whole sentence, he said, this is not about you, which just frosted me. If it's not about me, what the hell am I going through all this for? Kevin Bond says he used to have a normal life. I was living in the San Diego area. I uh, was clerking for a federal judge and I noticed that I was being followed by a whole bunch of people. According to the websites, what Bond is describing is called gang stalking. He moved to Palm Springs to escape. I started hearing, as you'll hear, the hearing voices and what they'll call voice to skull or microwave hearing. Bob Stansfield says his experience was similar and started a decade ago. They were active and following me around here and I started hearing the, the, the voices uh, a little bit after the, the uh, uh, vehicular stalking. Randall Ringer says the voices started when he was undergoing chemotherapy. The first thing that was said was Randall Ringer and I sat up straight and I went to the bath, into the bathroom, and I looked in the mirror, looked myself in the eyes, and I said, did that really happen? Bond says he's found more than 300 victims locally and is tracking others across the state through billboards. In Johnson Valley, a Freedom House just opened to help people who believe they are being targeted. To many of you who find yourselves uh, the, the object of covert harassment, that there is hope and that you are not alone and that we are striving uh, to, uh, to find legislation uh, for, and we're working towards freedom for all. Derek Robinson leads a national group called Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. He says he knows who's playing mind games. Rogue government officials that are uh, sponsoring this. Um, also corrupt business officials and um, private citizens. And he also told us how. Most of it is delivered by microwave and I believe it's satellite delivered. Uh, whether someone is uh, on a remote location using a, a laptop or next door using the desktop. Bond says neurotransmitter chips that run off body electricity have been inserted into some people. And they assign cell phone numbers to them. The cell phone numbers are then run through a computer and a computer translates your thoughts. This crime has been available to, the, to uh, the military for 60 years. We sat down with local psychiatrist Dr. Alan Drucker to get his professional opinion. There's no scientific evidence and there's no objective evidence to show that what they believe to be happening is factually true. So what does the doctor believe is behind these voices? Information that I found on many of these websites uh, really confirms or is uh, consistent with what I see in delusional disorders. But these men disagree. I've been to a psychiatrist and they gave me anti schizophrenia medication and it did absolutely nothing whatsoever. However, Dr. Drucker says delusional disorder has no real medical treatment and is believed to start because of disrupted dopamine pathways in the brain. These pathways then start to fire or get triggered in the absence of actual stimulation of a person actually speaking or the radio being on, etc. Dr. Drucker says dopamine can be disrupted for a variety of reasons, a genetic predisposition, illicit drugs, and even chemotherapy. These men have their own theories why they're being harassed. I think that I was targeted because I'm gay. I reported uh, people, someone, um, for selling, what I, I thought they were selling drugs, and they, they were. Nationwide, this crime is committed about 60% uh, against white women ages from 30 to 38. 
but in Palm Springs, it's almost 98% gay men. But it does tend to occur more in populations of individuals who are marginalized or in some way stigmatized in society. But these men disagree and say police in the psychiatric community need to take them seriously. When I worked with the government, I heard a lot of people coming in saying, I'm hearing voices through my tooth. Now I look back and I think, are they like I am now and I just didn't pay attention? For them, the voices are a waking nightmare. And Kevin Bond told me they're working on a book project about electronic harassment and pitching the idea to DreamWorks. Back to you.